Hi, welcome to this new module that deals with thermogranimetric analysis. We are going to start with some fundamentals. Let's see the contents outline. First of all, we will define what is the thermogranimetric analysis and then we will see which, are, which is the application range that, that we can use for our experiments. Then, we will discuss some different gases that can be used as a good analysis environment and finally, we will see some different analytical techniques that can be coupled to our TTA, thermogrammetric analyzer, in order to obtain deeper and better results. Do you have to have previous knowledge to understand this module? Yes, you do. And these are some chemistry and physics concepts, as well as different experimental skills. Let's start then with the definition of thermogravimetry. According to the International Confederation for Thermal Analysis and Calorimetry, the thermogravimetry is a technique in which the variation of mass of a sample is recorded as a function of time as well as temperature when this sample is submitted to a controlled temperature program under a specific analysis environment as we will further see. Which is the application range? When we are planning uh, uh, our experiments, we have to take into account two different features. First of all, we have to know which are the technical specifications of our thermal scale, and that means basically which is the temperature range feasible by our TGA, and also which is the sensitivity of our scale. Then, thinking about our material, we have to know if the mass changes that we want to see are in the temperature range feasible by our TGA. As well, we have to know if, uh, if the sample that we have is representative in relation to the whole piece that we want to analyze. Regarding the kind of materials that we can analyze, we can go from metals to ceramics and then to polymers. Let's discuss about the different gases that can be used. If you only want to know which is the effect of the temperature, it's better to use an inert gas such as argon or nitrogen. But if you want to perform an experiment more realistic, it is good to apply an oxidative atmosphere and you can use air as well as oxygen and then you will study which is the thermo-oxidative stability of your sample. Finally, if you want to analyze the composition and to identify which are the gases that are evolved by uh, your thermogrammetric analysis, you can couple some different analytical techniques. For example, you can use mass spectroscopy as well as Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy. Keep in mind the, the points that you have seen along this presentation. First of all, we have defined which, what is the thermogrammetry. Then we have seen which is the compromise between the features of the material to analyze and the technical specifications of our TTA in order to perform the best uh, experimental conditions to our experiment. Then. We have seen the different studies that are de derived by the use of different analysis environment. And finally, we have seen some different chances that we have of coupling DGA to other techniques. Thanks for your attention.